We're going to use the uh, Malacam Exterminator with the Malaslick software and demonstrate how to use the settings in the Malaslick software uh, working with the camera settings to produce a nice image in a fairly short time. I'm going to be integrating just using 10 seconds. I have slewed to my target and once the uh, integration, first integration shows up, you should see the Pinwheel Galaxy, uh, the Coma pin, Pinwheel Galaxy, and this is M99, and here we have it right there, and I'm going to, under the camera, I will do an auto white trace and just kind of adjust the brightness a little bit. So you adjust your camera settings, then you go to video, and I, will, I like to run my contrast up for detail, run the brightness then down to where I, I, I get the content I want, and then maybe a little bit less contrast, yeah, let's do that, okay. Uh, so I can see the detail that I want in the image, and get a little bit more of the detail of it. Then we can come to image and do some frame stacking of a rolling average of five exposures. So I'm going to turn that on. Once it reaches 10 seconds, it'll capture the first frame and then continue doing that for up to five frames, which will smooth out the image of the target that we are interested in. Uh, there's the second one. You can see some of the smoothing. And then the, uh, you like I said, you started with the camera, made whatever adjustments there, then you do your video capture, uh, that's your next portion in the video train, and then finally your image adjustments, and if you're going to do any stacking, you do that first. We've got three frames, now we've got four frames, and see how it smoothed out the image of the target. And once we get one more, then I'm going to use the histogram to do the final adjustment. Okay, now we've got five averaged. I'll turn on the histogram, use the lower setting to get my background black again, use the middle one, bring out a little bit more of the detail again, and then I'll darken the background back just a little bit more. And now we have a nice image of the pinwheel. And I always like to capture an image to a